<clears throat> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Please, um, yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'm going. Usually, um, YouTube tells you that you're about to go. <clears throat> oh, well, I guess I'm starting a little early tonight. Because why, why wouldn't it? <laughs> Every single time you hit start stream, it always, you know, it double checks. It says, okay, your stream looks good. Click the button to start the stream. But never mind. I guess that's not a thing. <clears throat> so, anyway, let me, sorry, I, as always, I'm a little unprepared. I was about to go prepare. Anyway, so, hi everybody, happy Friday night. This is the Whiskey Dictionary, and tonight we are doing the Wheel of Doom, also known as the Boozy Susan, also known as Flight of the Round, Flights of the Round Table. Probably other names as well, Wheel of Destiny, Wheel of, Wheel of Drams. So, lots of different things, lots of different whiskeys here. I just kicked back a little George T. Stag. Um, actually, no, that's not true. Was it George T. St what was it? It was Stag Jr., sorry. I just kicked back a little bit of Stag Jr. that I had left in one of these bottles. It was half empty. I just, you know, sometimes I like to have something right as the stream is about to start because it kind of gets you primed, gets you ready to go. So, yeah, you guys like the thumbnail? <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that was that was a fun one. I did that the other night on the Discord. Actually, that was uh, that was a fun night. So I, I ended up editing a video, and I said to myself, "Hey, you know what? I'd like to um, I'd like to stream this on the Discord because they have this new feature. You know, it's it's video. They they've had video for a little while, but you can stream your screen or you can stream games if you want to or whatever. So I was like, you know what? It might be interesting for somebody to watch me edit a video. So I started streaming that, and uh, Kill a Jolt and ended, ended up joining us or joining me, and we ended up getting to talking, and I realized that it was very hard to edit a video that requires audio while you're talking. So, I ended up um, just doing thumbnails. Now, I did the Larceny thumbnail, and uh, that turned out really well. Um, and then I did the one for this this video that you're looking at right now. Um, anyway, so let me just make sure everything's, nobody's complaining about my audio, nobody's complaining about the video, so everything looks good to go, and I'm ready to pick a whiskey. So, happy Friday night, everybody, and I'm gonna start with... This little... Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's clear. Ooh, that's an interesting one to start with. So this is another one from, um, I'm presuming, Cedar Ridge. It says ILR White Rye, 40% Batch B6. So Iowa... Oh, Iowa Cedar Ridge. It's ICR. Iowa Cedar Ridge White Rye. So that's cool. I don't know that I've ever had a white dog or white lightning or whatever actually white lightning and white dog i only recently realized is different um white lightning versus white dog white lightning is specifically at cask strength um obviously it's not in the cask yet but if you were to sell them white dog can would typically be brought down to 40 percent. so in this case this would be white dog white lightning is not um so anyway just interesting little factoid that i picked up over the last week or two all right, let me go for a half pour on this guy because it's a big boy. So it says batch three. No, bat, batch six. Batch, yeah, batch six. <clears throat> ah, good evening, Bill. <laughs> uh, did I know this? So I don't know how, to, how better to let you guys know that I'm streaming. I stream every Friday now. I stream every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I will be doing so for the foreseeable future. Uh, but people always tell me that they don't know I was going to stream, and I blame YouTube for that because, you know, YouTube. But, you know, whatever. Every Friday. So, referring to the Stag Jr., three or five. Pretty sure that you have a... Yeah, it's it's the one I've had for a wicked long time. Um, it's 66.05%, if that helps. It does not have a batch on here. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. So, um... Actually, I, I probably should have grabbed it, but if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, and I, I will grab it before the end of the stream, a couple of weeks ago I gave away one of those Glen Cairn cleaners. I have a couple more of them. Uh, I'm going to give another, another one away. I'm going to go grab it right now, actually. Give me two seconds. So it's right over here. So these things are cool, and um, the guy, Eric, who won the last one, he, uh, he actually sent me some pictures of it and told me... He actually, it's funny, he, he had it in his... Um, his drawer in his office, along with a bottle of, what was it? What did he have? It was something good. 
It was, uh, oh, a signet. It was a, a Glenn Morangy signet. Um, you know, as much, even though I know it's Glenn Morangy, I will probably forever call it Glenn Morangy just because I, I called it that so long. Uh, I don't know. I'd be, I'd be interested, actually. I know this is kind of a, a silly question, but are there any whiskeys that you guys routinely mispronounce? Um, you know, and I'll, I'll take people saying uh, Isla instead of Isla as well, but it'd be interesting to know if you guys ever mispronounce anything. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll be giving away um, this to anybody who Super Chats. doesn't matter the value, but um, since I'm bringing up Super Chats and probably for the last time tonight, I will also mention that this week was my birthday on Tuesday, so, you know, turn the big 3-7. <laughs> Dalmore. Now, how do you mispronounce Dalmore? Is it like Dalmore? Or Eric Waite isn't here for the uh, McCollin. <laughs> McCall yeah, that's true. He does say McCollin. You know, it's funny. I was watching a... How do you pronounce Ob Ob Oban? Um, so it's actually Oban. And uh, I, I met a guy, or my father actually. My father met a guy that was actually from Oban. And he asked him that exact question because he was like, you know, I love Oban 14. How do you pronounce this? And Guy corrected him, told him it was Oban. So I've always called it Oban as well. Um, I think a lot of people do. But yep, Oban. I remember I was watching a, <clears throat> a Whiskey Tribe video on uh, the old Pultney once, and um, I believe I believe Daniel called it the old Pultini, uh, which was just funny because it's. I mean, those guys know their stuff. There's no question about that. Uh, and it's good to see. It's good to see everybody makes mistakes with pronunciation, except for Roy, of course. Roy is Roy is the guy who can pronounce all of these things. Lafroig. Um, okay. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say Lafroig. Um, I would be, you know, Lafroig is one of those ones that I bet if you heard somebody from, you know, the area refer to it, I, it wouldn't surprise me to learn that Lafroig was actually pronounced completely differently. And just none of us are saying it right. Bunahabin. Yeah. Actually, I probably shouldn't be saying these because I'll, I'll give away the <laughs> Buffalo Trace. I'll give away the uh, secret that I probably don't know how to pronounce all of these either. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and jump into this. For those of you that – the, thank you for the uh, – yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about the, the background in a sec. Um, for those of you that are joining a little late, this is a Cedar Ridge White Rye 40%. It's batch B6. And it's clear. So let's go ahead and get into this because – I think this is a good one to start on. You know, sh certainly shouldn't be over overpowering. Um, certainly not going to be oaky. <laughs> so cheers, guys. Happy Friday. Smells like a muted, smells like a muted version of, of these. I mean, they all kind of smell very similar. But it's actually, it's not much to it. Some of them have a sharp nose to them. This does not have that, so. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Hmm. That's actually very good. A lot of times these suck. A lot of times the white the white dogs suck. Um, I know Buffalo Trace put one out. I hadn't tasted theirs yet. This actually, you know what this reminds me of? Is juniper berries? Like a gin. Um, it's it's also, uh, what else? There's, there's something else to this. It's actually, you know, it's just kind of like Band-Aids. It's like the smell of a, of a Band-Aid or an adhesive adhesive strip or a plaster um either way it's it's not bad i'm actually going to i'm going to keep drinking this um sometimes i put them to the side you know say i'm going to drink them later i do but i don't like to get hammered on stream except when i have guests on then it's more fun but when it's just me it's not fun to get hammered so but i will drink this so my wife actually she, she got me a present for my birthday obviously <clears throat> and I, it's funny because she was very excited to tell me about it, and I couldn't think, like, there's nothing I really need or want at the moment, and I said to her, I was, I was like, you know, like, what'd you get? She's like, oh, I want to just give it to you now. So she, uh, she got my, she got on my computer, which is totally fine, I don't care. She went and found my, um, my logo in my crazy amount of stuff that I've got going on on my computer, and she printed it on these, uh, like, plastic cups. Now, there's a funny story behind this, or at least I think it's kind of funny, is that, um, so it's 2020 now, right? So back in about 20, uh, 2005 or so, my very first job, I, or my first real, real professional job, I should say, I've had jobs since I was 12, um, I worked at this company, and I don't mind telling you, it's called CompuWare. And CompuWare gave us all these cups, and they were probably about 
this tall. Like they were very, very big cups, and it's why I liked it. Um, and I used that cup basically every single day for close to 14 years. <laughs> it was a long, long time. And finally, I just was like, you know what? This cup's finally getting a little bit gross. I'm just going to toss it. So I threw it in the recycling. And I, I was, it's silly, but I was a little bit sad about it because it had just been, I had had it in every place I've lived on my own. I've had it for 14 years. And it's, oddly enough, it's been something I've used every single day. So as soon as I got rid of those, she that was when she had the idea that it would be fun to get you know, these. So she got me 45 of them. <laughs> she told me, you know, give them away to people if you want to, but for the most part, you'll never have to worry about not having one. And uh, I thought that was, thought that was kind of nice. So good thought. So it's easy enough to arrange guests to get drunk with Bill. Yes, you are. You are totally correct. Um, all right, let's see. Nice, but you have to be careful about your wife getting on your computer. Well, you know, that the days of, uh, let's just say, more things being available on the internet than necessarily on my hard drive are, uh, <laughs> they are here, my friend. And I don't necessarily have to worry about my wife being on my computer, thankfully. Evening, Bill. Hope all is uh, good in the way, for, um, all the way from the kingdom of Northumberland. Am I missing a joke? Is, is that a place? Is Northumberland a real place? I've never been good at geography, so if I, uh... Haven't watched your streams in a while, but glad I'm back. Hey, Dre Dix. <laughs> oh, that's true. Now, my wife probably doesn't know how to check browser history, and I'll, I'll, I probably won't teach her. So, All right. Anyway, let's keep going with this guy. This this is really good. There's almost a little bit of a black... No. Um, I was going to say black licorice, but it's actually more of a mint. Um, yeah, so if you go like with the juniper berries and the mint and... You know what? I actually am going to revert. I'm going to say it's it's also a very mild amount of black licorice in here. There's way more smell to this than I would expect. You usually get almost all of your character from the barrel. And uh, there's a lot going on here. Now, I have not had a lot of these. Uh, I think the very first white dog I ever had was per Bernard R Richard, um, if I'm saying that right. Um, and I remember buying it because it was super on sale. Like, they, it was a wicked long time ago. It was a you know, clear bottle, black black label across the front i bought it along with the very first shopping spree i ever did um before i had the channel i got johnny walker black a chivas regal 12 and the pernard richard um uh white dog and maybe one or two other things um yeah that's funny i haven't thought of that in years but i remember that one not being so good i had to i had to work my way through that one this one actually is is enjoyable so But I will kick that back because you guys are not here to watch me drink a single whiskey all night. You are here to watch me drink multiple whiskeys all night. Uh, do, do, do. Haven't watched uh, a clean brown. Yep. <clears throat> hey, Bill. Just a hey from Northern England. Maybe also be a... All right. Well, I mean, my my uh, my name is from near England. Um, there's a town outside of there called uh, uh, Heburn. H-E-B-U-R-N, and that's very, very close to my last name, and um, yeah, so I don't know, just kind of a neat thing. I'd love to go there someday. Apparently, there's a few people, like, I am I am the only male, whatever, my last name's Eburn, so I'm the only guy with the last name Eburn in the United States of child, child rearing age, I guess you'd call it. Um, everybody else is either a relative of mine who's older than me, or there's one guy who's a priest, apparently. So I don't, I think he's kind of out of the game. Um, and then there's a few people over back in, in the town, but yeah. So I will absolutely talk to you guys about the coffee release in just a minute. I've got it right here. Um, but I, I want to just kind of get a couple, couple more drams under the, um, under my belt, but thank you very much, King. And, uh, if any of you guys don't want to wait for the grand reveal, just check the description. There's a link in there. So, oh, I almost picked one while looking. Jeez, I almost broke my rule. All right. Hmm. Right there. What are you? Ooh, it's a, it's a, ooh. Uh, Ramper single malt. Rampor. I know that I know how to say this. All right. All right. I've seen the bottle, of course, but uh, R-A-M-P-U-R. Pretty sure it's a U. So Ramper, Rampar, Rampour, Rampour it in the glass. 
So it's 43%. Um, it's a single malt, 99.999% uh, uh, sure that it is a scotch. Um, but I know nothing about it, so. Oh, it is ILR. Is that? Okay. See, here's the problem is when I get these things from people, everybody has different handwriting. It's hard to read. Now, this looks like the ones that I got from uh, Mr. Big Sexy there, but maybe it's not. So it is ILR. Iowa Legendary Rye. That's a cool name. Um, White Rye. Yeah. So thank you very much, Spencer. I appreciate that. All right. I did not have a few warm-up pours. I had one warm-up pour, and I had it about, unfortunately, about 30 seconds before the stream started because the stream started about four or five minutes early. Um, damn you, YouTube. It could still be Big Sexy. I don't know. Is it Rang Per? I, I don't really know. It's, no, it's definitely R-A-M-P-U-R. Okay, so it it's probably, you're probably right. It's probably an Indian whiskey. That's what, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to be confident. You got to say something is something until somebody else proves you wrong. But you all believe me that it was a scotch until somebody had to call me. <laughs> um, hey, buddy. Sorry I'm late. Just finished dinner and poured myself a Glenfiddich 12, uh, 15. Hey, Eric. Nice to see you. Hey, Andrew. Thank you very much. Um, so this is a Glen Cairn cleaner. Um, so it is essentially a brush that... Fits perfectly in a nice clean Glencairn and helps you to make it nice and squeaky clean. Um, I gave one away a few weeks ago and the person who won it really likes it. So, um, yeah. Ramp her and it is in. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as you guys said that, I, I realized how wrong I was um, and absolutely totally recognize it as being Indian, but I mean, whatever. I was wrong. It doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to drink my Indian whiskey in my Jim Beam Glencairn glass. It smells like curry. <laughs> totally not. Um, it is a little sharp. It's it's nice. It's it's only 43%, I think. Um, it smells a little bit higher than that. <laughs> you can go ahead and show that one, Steve. So Charles says it gives you a squeaky, cle cle squeaky clean bunghole. Yes, it sure does. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers, guys. Mm. You know what's kind of nice about this is that I know a lot of you guys like seeing kind of first tastings of whiskey. I, I mean, it's obviously a, a topic that a lot of us whiskey tubers cover. You guys get to see like five or six of them in a night on this stream, which is fun. Um yeah. All right. So anyway, this is really good. I'm, I'm liking this. This is, uh, it's, what is that taste? That's actually probably really loud. Sorry. I won't do that again. Um, what is that taste that we've got going on there? Like coriander, maybe it's definitely, I, I know that I made the joke about, about it tasting like curry, but it actually tastes like some sort of spices. Um, it's got a very drying kind of taste on, on my tongue here, but but it it's not an oak. It's almost more, it wouldn't be like French oak. It, there's something happening here with the wood. I'm sorry that I'm thinking this out, but I, I'm trying to trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get better with figuring the stuff out on the, on the fly. I've realized that's definitely one of my weaknesses. Two things, blind tasting is a weakness and figuring stuff out on a live stream is definitely a weakness. So I'm practicing. And, uh, anyway, so the, I'm, it, I'm going to go with cloves. I think this tastes like cloves, um, with a little bit of like a menthol kind of thing going on. So yeah. All right. Hmm. So I have a question. I, I looked up a couple of topics cause I wanted to have some stuff to talk about tonight other than just kind of shooting the, shooting the shit with you guys. So I saw that whistle pig put out a new version of their whiskey. Um, called Homestock, and this is very similar to their farm stock, except it was uh, crowdsourced by Flaviar. And um, I'm just curious, what is the general opinion among the audience here of Whistlepig? And for those of you watching this in the future, you know, go ahead and just put it in the comments anyway. I'd still like to hear your opinion. 
I have an opinion about Whistlepig. I, I know I'm kind of leaning on that it might be negative, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's negative. I, I'm trying to be impartial here. But do you guys, wh- what is the general opinion of Whistlepig here? And I'm going to have a couple sips while you guys respond. You see an Aqua Vitae sample in there. I don't think you do. Um, I don't think Roy's giving me anything. If he did, it would have been at the um, would have been at the Bastards Ball last year. I should bring Roy a present or something. Um, he's done a lot for my channel actually in the early days. Um, I'd say we had a falling out, but not really. I don't think it was anything nearly that dramatic. It was more just like we kind of stopped talking. Um, but I don't know. I mean, like the the book with the Glen Karen in the middle, like he made that graphic for me, and I've used it all over the place, obviously. Um, Anyway, so let's see. Smash that like. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. Please hit the like button. Helps a lot. Um, haven't had the 15, but over the French oak and Indian whiskey around the world. Yeah, no, I wasn't actually saying it was French oak. I was trying to identify the type of oak because there, there's a few different types that actually really seem to make a difference, and French oak is one of them. Um, so I was just kind of thinking out loud. Like Whistle Pig, but won't buy a bottle. <laughs> okay. I've never owned a bottle of Whistle Pig. Want to try it, but haven't yet, specifically the rye. Excuse me. Um, I've never owned a bottle. It's usually been too expensive, and I'm not a huge rye fan. Uh, Want to bet? I think it just passed. So, Eric, you're you're saying that which one do you think is the, the Aqua Vitae bottle? Because, I mean, it's possible. I don't think he gave me anything, but, I mean, I've got a lot of samples here, and they've come from all over the place. So, um, By the way, I... I just in the off chance, because this came up earlier this week, I'm mentioning, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on a stream. If any of you guys actually want to send random samples for the, the Wheel of Doom here, um, just get in contact with me, thewhiskeydick at gmail.com, and um, we can talk about it. But, you know, I, I'm, I have plenty of samples. I'm not all that worried about it. I think I have almost 60 of them on the table here. Um, but if there's stuff that you have that you think would be kind of fun to throw on the table, then, then by all means, get in touch with me. So, uh, I've only ever found the rye spending, yeah. All right, so the general opinion seems to be, um, the whiskey dick and I had a falling out, then we got arrested in San Diego and spent the night together in jail. Eric, I wouldn't call that a falling out. I would call that a, um, fiery something. (laughs) Um, there was definitely something out. Let's just say that. Uh, anyway, so, what was I saying? Um. Totally lost. Damn it. Oh, yeah. So Whistlepig. So Whistlepig. So my opinion about Whistlepig has been when I first found out it was sourced, I lost a little bit of respect. Not respect. Yeah, I'll say respect because it was early on when I didn't realize that so many people did sourced whiskey and they sourced theirs from Canada um, or yeah, they sourced it from Canada and down to Vermont versus doing something like MGP. So it was different at least, and that was good. And I, I genuinely enjoyed the um, ten year. I believe it was that I had. It was the yellow label. I'm pretty sure that's ten year. And I thought it was okay. But my opinion about Whistle Pig has always been that it's too expensive, and that makes it really, really hard to recommend. Now here's the problem: when you have something like Boss Hog, so the Boss Hogs that I've had, I think I've tried three of them now, and they have all been really, really good. But they have not been like like world changing, you know. Like the Booker's Rye, Booker's Rye was three hundred dollars when it came out, and if I had the opportunity to grab one for three hundred dollars, which I don't think I've personally ever spent that much money on a whiskey, I would do it probably two or three times over. I would just spend every dime I had, you know, in, in play money to buy Booker's Rye, and I would just have it forever. Um, I've had more than a few opportunities to buy Boss Hog, even ones that I knew I liked, and I've never pulled the trigger because they're like four or $500 or $600 even. And uh, I swear, like every time that they up the number, they just up, a, up it by $100. The Boss Hog 7 is going to be $700. Um, Steve, I'm, I think there's probably some of yours in here. Um, yes, there's another Stag Jr. actually, <clears throat> 64.85. So, whichever one that is. But that might be your last one. Yeah. Anyway. So, I, I've, I'm i of the opinion that Whistle Pig is way overpriced for what it is. Now, let's get back to the topic at hand, though, and talk about their mainline stuff. Also, too expensive, in my opinion, a rye in 
a rye that is readily available should never cost $75. I believe, so I wrote it down here because I knew I would forget. So the Whistle Pig home stock is $73. Um, I didn't get the ABV on there, but based off everything I know about whiskey, if I had to take a guess, I would say it's probably 46%. Um, but I would love it if one of you guys could could fact check me. That would actually be great. Um, Whistle Pig has a... Saturnis? I, I don't know what that word is. Saturns? Saturns? Port finish one? I don't know. Um, I mostly met the cast here. Anyway, so I uh, I don't usually recommend people buy Whistle Pig. However, it seems like a lot of people do. Their marketing is over the top, and I'm sure that that's why their stuff costs so much. They spend so much money on marketing that they have to charge more for their whiskey. Because if you look at any store, there's going to be a t- Oh, okay. Sauternis is a wine finish. Thank you. Can't know everything. Um, So Whistlepig is really, really good at marketing. A lot of people seem to have it. People that I know that don't really drink whiskey readily, you know, they'll they'll show me or tell me what they have. They'll be like, I have like a Johnny Walker Black, a Balvenny 12, and a Whistlepig 10 or 12 or 15 or something like that. You know, and they'll they'll always be very excited about their Whistlepig 12. And I'm just like, give me the Balvenny. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, okay, thank you, Eric and and Steve both. So, so. How do you say that? Sauternes? Sauternes? Saltines? <laughs> Saltines is a sweet white wine from Bordeaux, French. I, just said, I said French. Jeez, okay. I really haven't had enough to be talking so so poorly yet. All right, anyway, so let's uh, let's have a couple more sips of this, and then we'll open up something else. Sauternes. Okay, cool. I'll go with that. Uh, Glen Morangy Nectar d'Or is aged in Sauternes. Okay, cool. <laughs> French, <laughs> French. <laughs> oui, oui, mon capitaine. Um, anyway, so would you guys consider picking a or picking up a Whistle Pig Homestock that was seventy three dollars for a rye if you knew that it had undergone a Let's just say, like, kind of a if it was a pick, essentially, it, which it was. It was it was people from Flaviar tasting them and picking that one specifically. So I'm just curious. I have no no dog in the game or dog in the game. I have no dog in horse in the race. Dog in the fight. Dog in the fight. Um, I'm just curious. All right. The other thing was Widow Jane. This one is a little bit more exciting to me. Widow Jane put out a 13 year old. Uh, whiskey. Now, I, I saw Widow Jane the other day, or honestly, at this point, it was March. Man, time is going by really weird with this whole COVID thing. Um, there was a Widow Jane I was going to buy, and it was 100 proof. I think it was a 10-year, and the bottle was really cool. The packaging was really cool. I liked it, and I was really tempted to do that one for my... Um... Wait a minute. I'm thinking writer's tears. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Undo. Control Z. Let's go back. So Widow Jane, I've only ever had their normal stuff. And I've only actually ever had it at tastings. And I have not tried any of their age statement, really. Um, I don't really have an opinion about Widow Jane. It never stuck out to me. It was one that I've gotten a lot of requests to review, though, because I think people like that it's from New York. Um, People like it in general. And uh, I'm just curious. A a 13-year-old, there's $90 a piece. It's true. It's, um, this is weird. So they phrased it. They said it was a single barrel, but that there were something like 15,000 bottles of it, which is clearly not a single barrel. Um, so obviously they're going to be picking multiple barrels and bottling them as single barrels. I don't know. It's the whole thing seemed a little weird. Um, I have no dog. Yeah. I have no dog in the bed. (laughs) I've seen videos like that. I never knew that uh, Sauternes was until my wife gave me a bottle of Kilco- uh, Kilhoman Sauternes cask a few months ago. Great bottle. All right. So, Andrew Page, that, that sounds actually... I would love to review Kilhoman. I have not touched that one. There's so many freaking good whiskeys out there. How am I ever going to review all of these whiskeys? Like, when you look at somebody like Ralphie who's done... I don't know. What's he up to now? 800, 900 different reviews. And just knowing that he could really do what he's doing for eternity and be fine. 
I don't know. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, it was a pretty busy week. Today <laughs> was a interesting day. Um, letting you guys know kind of into the uh, into the fold here. I um, had to do my self assessment today for my boss, who I've spoken to about three times. Um, he works out of New York, and uh, he. You know, I, he's a nice enough guy. I just never really met him or talked to him. And he's only been my boss about half half the year. So I pretty much just had to be like, yeah, all these good things about me. <laughs> and, you know, maybe a couple of things that aren't so great, whatever. And uh, there it is. Give me a rating. So, I don't know. I wanted to provide enough evidence. I spent, like, my entire day doing it. And it was uh, it was a lot. And not only that, but all of my direct reports were giving me in their, their assessments, which I have to check out and read. Um, and I'm helping them with theirs. I'm doing my normal meetings. I'm filling out my own thing, which my bonus depends on. So, yeah, this – it was a busy day. Not to mention to us all of the normal crap that happens by normal day. All right. Ralphie mostly does scotch and rarely does bourbon or rye. That's true. Um, that's a very good point, Eric, actually. But I still think that he probably has no end to the amount of scotches that he could drink. Even if – especially when you take into different, like, finishes that people like Glenn Morangy or, or really – Pretty much everybody. I mean, even Ardbeg just came out with two new bottles. Um, boy, I want to get both of those. Speaking of which, since Eric Waite is in the chat, Eric, you're making us all look bad. <laughs> you're putting out like 70 videos a week. You got to relax. Take a breath. Chill. Anyway, speaking of chill and taking a breath, I'm going to pick another bottle. All right. So this one is Cedar Ridge. See, this is almost not fair because these bottles are taller, and so I tend to hit them first. But, all right, let's do Cedar Ridge. So we got Cedar Ridge IA Bourbon Batch 385. 40%. Well, the good news is, usually, I, I have kind of bad luck or good luck, depending on how you're looking at it, in these types of uh, live streams where I usually... There we go. Let me just do this. <clears throat> I usually just pick out like really, really high ABV versions. So at least I've had a couple of 40% tonight and uh, a 40, a 40, and a 43. Yeah. Yeah, that's clean glass. All right. Um, funny thing. So I have been drinking Tin Cup the last couple nights, preparing to do a review on it. And. Boy, was I surprised how it's saying I like it isn't the right right term, but it's it's like really, really easy to drink. I think in the last two nights, I've gone through about a third of the bottle. <laughs> I've probably had about seven or eight drams in the in those two nights. And um, one of those nights, actually, uh, I'm going to derail myself a little bit. So this was back. I don't even know what time it is. What What is it? So this is back almost 25 minutes ago when I was talking about Discord and doing the uh, screen share and the video chat and all that stuff. And I found myself editing some videos. All right, so editing some images. And as I said, I, I did the Larceny one, which you guys will be seeing. So Larceny Barrel Proof is coming out on Sunday. Um, I did the thumbnail for this thing, which was actually kind of just slapped together, but I we were all just laughing hysterically at that. Um, and then I, I did a picture of... scene for a sec so jason came into the discord as we were talking about stuff as i was editing something else oh i cut off my audio oh, okay hold, hold on okay cool sorry thank you guys um all right i i totally appreciate that i i didn't even think about the fact that i had to add my microphone over there um i will talk about that again in a moment so jason came in while I was editing these images and just he had just finished a stream and while we were talking about uh, his stream he you know I just randomly was like googling his name and finding pictures and uh, I found this picture or at least the the unchanged one and I we started talking about it and as we were talking somebody made a joke basically saying like 
Jason, like you, you must have been uh, talking really loud, like your hands moving around or whatever as you're talking. And he he mentioned he actually smacked the microphone a few times because he was talking with his hands. So then I proceeded to you know Photoshop a whole bunch of hands on there. And now then then somebody mentioned that he needs a giant plate of meatballs. Um, no, dude, I've been doing it OBS forever. I just uh, I forgot to add the the thing. I added this picture a little while ago. Um, Anyway, so added all the hands, added the bowl of meatballs. That pastry that's on top of his head is a, um, like a UK thing. It's uh, called Spotted Dick. <laughs> so we put some Spotted Dick on his head. Um, he's got his, his bottle of Poland Spring water there, which is renamed to Wada. Uh, he has some <laughs> Jephtha Creed on the dude's head. Uh, he's got his Italian flag. And, of course, he's got shelves filled with Johnny Walker red, as well as cannoli feet and... Um, he said something about get the fuck out of my cab uh, was apparently a thing that he he says. So, yeah, that that was what I came up with those night. Um, those are not uh, euros. Those are cannolis. So <laughs> anyway, so that was that was uh, that was the culmination of about an hour and 15 minutes or so of people just throwing out random suggestions and me pretty much doing whatever they said to poor Jason's picture. <laughs> but we were all having a really good night. I absolutely could see myself doing that again. So if you guys don't belong to the Discord, you absolutely should. And uh, and I'll make sure that I maybe do some sort of announcement telling people that I'm, I'm going to be jumping in there and just fucking around and, and drinking with you guys. So, All right. So I poured the Cedar Ridge. Um, for those, just to refresh everybody, this is a 40% Cedar Ridge IA Bourbon Batch 385. So it's just Cedar Ridge Bourbon, sounds like. So I am in my basement, um, she flung down. Um I'm sorry to hear that you came late. It's better than coming early. <laughs> but uh, get out of my cab was because he was a cab driver. Uh, oh, he was a cab driver in New York. I did not know that. Okay. That's funny. I didn't know that about Jason. Um, probably should have. But anyway, uh, I'm in my basement. I actually I bought some stuff for this wall because this is going to be where I film from now on, um, or at least in a, in a little bit. And... Uh, I'll start filming down here. I wanted to do like some stuff on the wall. Obviously, this is kind of boring to look at behind me, but you know, I've got some good ideas. Um, add Weedabix ask Castro. Uh, Miss, I have no idea what you just said, uh, Emily. Add Weedabix ask Cask Strength the mash and drum as you missed after deck yesterday. <laughs> can can somebody please translate? <laughs> Hey, Vito! Nice to see you, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So this is um this is kind of just there. Uh, it's a bourbon. I've been kind of a fan of Cedar Ridge. I shouldn't say I'm like a huge fan, but they do some unique stuff, and their unique stuff is pretty good. Their regular bourbon is. It deserves a place um, on the shelf for sure. It's not totally run-of-the-mill or or just meh it's better than that but it's it's not mind-blowing i also have no idea what the price is and it's at 40 percent. so i mean this is this is going to be their kind of generic hey we have a bourbon too kind of whiskey so i find i watch less fellow whiskey tubers because i am so busy making video yeah me too eric uh so i'm glad i am here and taking a break from editing yeah i'm t dude like i said you've been doing 100 videos a week so well i said 70 last time but i think it's about 100 um so i i'll I imagine all you're doing is editing, but at least you look good doing it. <laughs> mm. All right, let's move along. I've got three more glasses, so I've got three more uh, picks slash pours slash whatevers. All right, so for those of you who have not been here the whole time, um, let me just talk to you real quick. So I started out with a white dog. Um, this is the, what, what was it? it? Iowa Legendary Rye, White Rye, 40%. Then I moved on to the Rampur, Rampur um, Indian Whiskey. Then I did a Cedar Ridge Bourbon. So let's go ahead and pick something here. And then I'll talk about my coffee. Ooh, Glen Farkless. Um, Glen Farkless 105 cask strength, 60%. All right, so... Those words coming back to bite me about not picking cask strength stuff. But at least it's at the, you know, second two-thirds of the way through. 
uh, versus the first pour of the night. So, Glen Farkless is not a brand that I think I've... I've definitely never had it intentionally as like a single... Like, I've never bought a bottle, let's put it that way. But I've almost certainly tried it at some sort of a tasting. All right. Ooh, that's... So, wh where is Glen Farkless? Can, can anybody in the chat tell me anything about Glen Farkless? Just so I don't have to look it up while we're, while we're all doing this. It's um, it's almost got like a funk to it. I love cast strength. That yeah, I mean cast strength. Anything is always good. Starts with the letter G. <laughs> it's Highland. Okay. Glenn Farkless, family owned and space side, been there. So it's okay. Hmm. It does not smell like a typical space side. At least not to me. Um, or at least, I mean, they can all vary, obviously, but when I think space side, I do not think the smell off of this. Sorry, my typing gets worse as I multitask. <laughs> That's okay, Emily. I'm just happy you're here, and I look forward to seeing you again at the ball this this year. Um, space side, they use direct fire stills. Okay. Did someone say, uh, <laughs> um, which can Farkless is, all right, let me read this again. There is some interest in the Glen Farkless. So it's Glen Farkless 105 cask strength, 60%. I'm not sure who sent this to me. I would guess it has to be Matt, it, but the writing looks too good for Matt. Hold on. I have a, have a thing here. So brown bottle. No, this is, I don't think this is a Matt. I'm a little sad that Matt's not here, actually. He always shows up to my streams. You're not out there, are you, Matt? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take, take a sip of this. The writing looks too good. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate that, Vito. Um, all right, so Glen Farkless Distillery is a Speyside whiskey distillery in, oh boy, uh, Ballandaloc. Um, but they can label their whiskeys as Highlands if they want to. Okay. It is 60%, yep. Now, how does 105 become 60? I mean, not not that doubling it really is any better, um, but I mean, like like 120 proof would be 60%. So how does, the, how does the ratio work from 105 to 60%? That's, that's like decimal points. <laughs> so anyway, let me go ahead and have, uh, have a taste of this. Hmm. 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 Ooh. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Oh, I love that. <sighs> I'm just gonna stare off into the into the distance and just enjoy this. Hmm. All right. Anyway, while I'm enjoying that, um, I'm gonna take one more sip here. <laughs> Somebody said metric system for the, the conversion. <laughs> it's just, yeah, there's, it's so weird. All right. <clears throat> so this is Bill's Burbine Blend. It is a coffee that I have worked with a local coffee roaster with. Um, let me actually leave that right there. So the, the company's name is Armino. There's a link down in the description to go check it out. Now, fair warning, the coffee is a little expensive. Um, they do a fantastic job. This is one of those cases where the product is expensive, but when you taste it, you're like, okay, I get why that's expensive. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we're all whiskey drinkers. You can, you could go spend $200 on a whiskey and you'll be like, okay, you know, that sucked. I hated dropping 200 bucks on that, but I get why that was expensive. It's the exact same thing. So these are, um, I think they're $19.99. Um, if you, my suggestion to you guys is if you decide to buy, um, coffee from them, buy two bags. It doesn't have to be two bags of this, buy a, co a bag of this and a bag of something else. And, um, then you get free shipping. So, cause the shipping is kind of expensive. 
the shipping is almost expensive as a second bag. So I would very much suggest if you guys want to help support the channel or more specifically, honestly, I am like over the moon about this this coffee. This um I I think this is the third iteration of what I had them blend for me. I have I have three pounds of coffee beans sitting in my cabinet, uh, including this one. So I guess two. Um, I have three pounds of coffee from this company because I, I was like, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try to make it taste like this. And he gave me a thing and it was a little too bold. Um, I realized that too bold might not be a thing for some of you, but I love black coffee and this was just too much bold. Um, so I said, all right, let's cut that a little bit with, with some of this and let's whatever. So what this ends up tasting like other than just general coffee is butterscotch, a little bit, a little bit of butterscotch. Um, some nuttiness, and then very much chocolate. Uh, and it took a while to get there. But some other working names I had for this, by the way, because I will be very sad if I don't tell you this. So the first name I was going to go with, the, the one that I had decided on, was Billy Bean Williams. <laughs> but as I told that to people, um, I was surprised how many people didn't get the reference to Billy D. Williams um, from Star Wars. He played Lando Calrissian. And uh, so I, I was just like, okay, that's not going to fly. That's, that's fine. And then I was like, you know what? I'm the Whiskey Dictionary. Everything, all of my jokes around this just have something to do with dick. So I was going to call this Bag of Dicks Coffee. <laughs> Be like, get yourself a nice bag of dicks, you know? And uh, didn't, didn't go for that. Um, I did talk to the guy. I was like, hey, look, this is kind of what I want to call it, but I don't want to make your business look bad by just, you know, throwing bag of dicks coffee up there. <laughs> and uh, so we ended up just kind of deciding not to do that. He didn't, honestly, he was cool. He didn't say no. But the more I thought about it, I was like, that's, I, I'm not going to do that to the guy. So um, instead, I ended up uh, going with uh, Bill's Burbine Brew, which I thought was kind of clever. Um, somebody actually recommended Burbine, so I can't take full credit for that. Uh, sorry, Bill's Burbine Blend. Um, so anyway, that's the thing. If you guys love coffee, you are going to love this coffee. So um, don't even think about it so much as donating to the channel. Think of it as you're getting a freaking good cup of coffee. You can also ask them to ground it for you if you'd like to. Um, it's, there's like a area for notes and they, they say right on the, on the advertise, like on the page, if you go there, there's a thing at the bottom that says, you know, if you want it ground, just let us know in the notes. So there you go. And you can even tell them how you'd like it ground. If you, if you want paper, like if you filter through paper versus a, a metal mesh, um, just say for paper filters and they'll be fine. Otherwise say for metal, if you have a metal mesh, you probably know what to say. So, um, I either drink coffee, uh, Coffee French press or I get Italian or French roast. Yeah. Uh, you're going to love my beans. <laughs> exactly. Um, community dark roast for me. Bill, have you been kicked out your house? New back. No. <laughs> I, um, I'm building a, a quote unquote studio in my basement. Now, the problem is I really love the brick, right? I love the brick. I... Unfortunately, it's not super, super wide. Like that's, that's about as wide as it goes. So I can't zoom out too much more. Um, but I have a couple things coming. I'm going to have a thing right here, which you'll, you guys will probably see the next time I do a live. I ordered it yesterday. And then I have a thing right here, which you guys are going to, I really hope you guys are going to love. So every time that I deal with a distillery, um, certainly lately, I, I wish I had been doing this all along, but every time I deal with a distillery, I tell them along with whatever they decide to send, send a pin. Like a, like a, you know, push, not a push pin, but like, you know, like a pin. And, um, so what I'm going to do is I, I bought some pin boards and I'm going to put them up here and I'm going to put the pins from the distilleries in there. And I think it's going to look really cool. Um, hopefully I get a lot more. <sighs> oh. So Eric, is, is it not in the description? It should be. Hold on. I just want, I want to make sure that this is in the you know what? I, I don't need to interrupt my own stream. Somebody confirm that the, the link to the coffee is in the description. Because if it's not, I will absolutely take a take a minute and put it in there. It should be. Oh, that's good. Ron, I will actually totally do that. I, um, I plan on it, but I left it at my office because I have it in my office. And then Corona happened. So, okay. So it's, it's there. All right. Thank you, guys. 
My lazy ass didn't scroll down, Eric. All right, actually, you know, that's that's a good point. I will put it higher up in the description just so you, other lazy asses don't have to. Um, yeah, so uh, that being said, actually, a few of you guys have subscribed to the Single Malt Whiskey Society from the thing I did last week, so I very much appreciate that, and I think you're, I think you're actually... Uh, I think you're in a good position to get some really, really tasty whiskeys. Um, pretty cool, actually. Because of because of you guys subscribing, I'm gonna be able to probably get myself another bottle of single malt whiskey. Um, it's actually kind of nice. They send me a they send me a gift card every time one of you guys subscribes, and I can roll those gift cards into more whiskey. Which, like, talk about a perfect perk for this channel, right? Like, it's not like I'm getting money off of you guys. I'm getting more whiskey, which is exactly what we all want. More whiskey. All right. Um, yeah, Single Malt Whiskey Society really does have some good stuff. So um, I'm, I'm having some people scotch. Wait. It's Scotch Malt Whiskey Society? I guess it would be, yeah. Boy, I, I wonder how many times I said that wrong with on the live stream. I hope I didn't. As a coffee geek, 1999 is not out of the line. Yeah, totally. For a full pound of artisanal... Um, artesian small batch coffee it's not bad you're like rare breed level price point can be st starting but not really high yeah i mean i i can't i'm gonna stop talking about the coffee in just a sec obviously you guys can tell i'm really excited about it um i'm actually i'm gonna probably film some b-roll of the coffee tomorrow and it's gonna be kind of a kind of a challenge um in a good way for myself because i i like doing the videography part of this this channel actually i like basically all of this channel i like drinking on live streams i like teaching you guys and i like doing videography and photography and i like editing videos and i like editing pictures there's nothing about this that i don't like um and uh, the research is the research can occasionally be a little shitty um sometimes it's really hard to find good data about a distillery actually funny thing so i realize i'm totally off the rails here but i'm, I'm just talking 100 miles an hour hope you guys are enjoying this and i, I swear i'll get to another another bottle in a minute um, I do want to be cognizant of the time because ADHD whiskey is going on right after me at 10 o'clock. So um, if you guys don't have any plans at 10 o'clock, then check them out. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I was going 100 miles an hour and I just, just hard stopped there. Wow. All right. I'm going to have a sip. Tell me what I was talking about. Hmm. Yeah, the music part is is killer king, because if you like, I, I like to listen to music all day long while I'm working or, or coding or whatever. I w oh, uh, so I was gonna talk about coffee a little bit more. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna edit some really cool B-roll only because I think it would be really fun to talk uh, to do, and um, I'm gonna try a few techniques that I've learned over time, and I'm I'm gonna really make an effort to edit this video as best as I possibly can with a killer soundtrack. Um, I suppose, uh, so grumpy monk, I do not even know how to say that, but no, I have not tried it. <laughs> um, Santis drift. Oh my God. There is too many consonants going on there. Actually, there's, there's too much of everything going on there and none of those letters are supposed to be next to each other. Any ref uh, plans to review the Bren whiskey? Yeah, I really should. Um, if I'm being honest, I had talked to the owner of Bren Whiskey several times. Um, they said they were going to send me a bottle. They didn't. Um, you know, I kind of got back to them. The, the bottle's not very expensive. So there's a certain level of like, I mean, guess I guess I, you would call it mooch. But I would call it more just good business. Um, it would be it would be too much for me to purchase every bottle that I review because it would just take too much money. I'm not, not bringing down, uh, IBN or, uh, bourbon junkie, Patreon level money. So I can't buy everything I review. Um, so I do have to talk to these distilleries and if they say they're going to send me something, I usually just wait to do it. And then they didn't send anything. And so I got back to them. They didn't send anything again. Um, so it kind of put me off a little bit, but I, I have to say the Bren whiskey is really just really good, and I think I just need to buy it. Um, but I was waiting for them to just send me a bottle, but that that's why I haven't reviewed them yet. Hey, Ron, thank you very much. I've been burning through coffee during this COVID stuff, got it free at work, and can't go there. Yeah, I, I also hear you, Ron. Now, it's funny because I, I have a coffee pot in my office um, because we, we had the K-Cups at work, and those were good for me for about five years, and then... 
when I became a manager, I, I got an office and I bought a coffee pot as a way to have my employees be able to kind of stop by and have coffee, like good coffee. And obviously I wanted it for myself, but it really was about like, hey, you work for me. We should be like able to talk about whatever. Come in, have a cup of coffee, close the door, let's chat. And that just kind of took off into every single morning <laughs> we all drink coffee and chat and i love it because we we have a lot of ideas we have a lot of discussions and uh you know sometimes it's it's a venting session usually it's like talking about families or whatever sometimes it's technical and sometimes it's really fun um oh that's a good idea eric actually i like that idea um Anyway, so, so th I've been drinking really, really good coffee for a while. And actually, Armino's is one that I've been buying coffee from forever. So that's that's why I picked them, because all of their coffee is really good. If you guys are looking... Uh, this is just a coffee stream at this point. If you guys... It's part of the reason I put it off till now. If you guys are thinking about buying coffee, right? As I mentioned, you should really buy two pounds, because then it's, it's just a way more practical decision for money-wise. Obviously, buy Bill's Burbian Brew. Or blend. I keep saying brew. Um, if you love bold coffee, go with the cowboy coffee. That one is as bold as you can get. Um, if you love just kind of easy to sip coffee, go with the house blend. It's really good. Um, there is a an African one that I'm I'm blanking on the name right now. Excuse me. That I actually really like as well. But I have never had a coffee from there that I haven't loved. But in fairness, I have bought coffee from there that my wife has not loved. So if this is something that you're going to be brewing a pot of, and maybe your wife isn't, like, as bold of a flavor as as probably most of you are, stick to maybe the house blend um, to try it out. Really, really good, though. Like, seriously, really good. It's it's what this is based off of. So, um, I wish it was still 10 p.m. It's nearly 3 a.m. here in the U.K. I probably should stop or slow down. No, Sam. You should, absolutely should just go through the night. Make it make it a Friday night to remember. You uh, you know let six o'clock roll around. Once that sun rises, it's so much easier to stay awake. Pop stentures out. Give me gummy gummy. What? What on? What? What did I miss? <laughs> uh, I don't even want to know. Well, I kind of want to know, but it, I'm not gonna scroll up. Love cowboy coffee. Uh, so many Eric's, but you. Uh, blah blah blah. All right, so let's uh, let's polish this guy off. You know what? No. I'm not going to finish this one because I love that one. I'm going to leave that for after the stream. And I'm going to go into one more coffee here. Um, <laughs> I said coffee. I'm going to go into one more whiskey here. And um, go ahead and pick one. Now, quick reminder that for anybody who wants to uh, win the Glen Cairn cleaner, um, there's only been, I think, two Super Chats so far. So those guys both have a 50-50 chance. If you guys want to win this, it's, it's like a $10 item. But if you put in anything less than that then it's worth your money and i will pick somebody um right after the stream or i guess maybe i'll pick somebody during the stream i don't really know how i should do this um because last time i had problems where i had to contact the person outside of the stream so why don't why don't we do this why don't i do this so it's 9 55 if you guys want to enter the raffle throw any sort of super chat in before 9 58 and uh It'll enter you into a random drawing, and I'll do it during the last couple of minutes of the stream, and then I'll pick somebody. So, those are super chat. Um, yeah, so I'll have to I'll have to go back. Actually, Steve, if you could do me a favor, if you could scroll up through the live chat and just let me know. I think it was um, I think it was Eric and Mike, maybe that did super chats, but I'd, I'd rather know for sure. <laughs> Glen Karen Cleaner also uses a bedroom enhancer. Yes, it is a uh, it is a you, you, you did it better than I did. I'm going to pick a whiskey. I'm not going to pick a tall one this time. All right. <clears throat> oh, another orange one. Uh, that's, a, that's another Glenn Farkless. I'm going to put that back just because I, I feel like that's kind of not as interesting. Um, all right, chat doesn't go back all the way. All right, so I, I, might, have to, I might have to do this slightly differently, guys. Um, one way or another, I promise I'll make this fair. Um, if you guys have super chatted, why don't you join, this, join the Discord? And that will help because I can go back and I can look at who super chatted and in a couple of days I can pick a winner next time I promised I'll have my I'll have my stuff a little bit more together as far as the giveaway goes I actually have a couple of really cool things to give away too. I have a, I have another one of these but I also have something just totally totally different 
Um, all right, pick this guy. This is ooh, that was a shorty. All right, ooh, smokehead sherry bomb. Whew, that sounds really fun. All right, smokehead sherry bomb, pro product of Scotland, rebottled in the UK. Blah blah blah. Who cares? Um, Forty-eight percent. Yeah, no, I totally, I totally get it, Steve. I, uh, I appreciate you offering, and as always, you're like kind of the best admin backup mod guy ever. Um, I just have to have my shit together before I can ask you to have your <laughs> yours. Hey, it's Eric. I knew you were gonna join. I mean, sorry, Matt. I knew you were gonna join. I even said something earlier, but I was surprised you weren't here. That's tasty. Ah, that smells really good. It does smell like a peated cherry. Ooh, I like that. Not getting a whole lot of subtlety at this point, but I will still take it. So, cheers, guys. Hmm. Ooh, that's tasty. Oh, that's really good. That is... I almost feel like this is kind of not fair. Um, Smokehead... Smokehead basically said, hey, like, let's do all the things. <laughs> let's let's make a, smo a smoky whiskey that's also sherried and make it taste good and put that out. Like, I don't know. Can you even buy this? A lot of these uh, really good whiskey company stuff, like, you can't really get... This might be one of them that you could just buy off the shelf. I have no idea. Um, but some of them are, are more limited release t style things. Hey, Tyler. How's it going? Tyler is one of my top patrons. So, Tyler, thank you. I've been putting off buying Smokehead for a very long time, actually. For a number of reasons. Mostly because I just... I wasn't sure how popular it was. Um, the packaging on the bottle kind of looks a little cartoonish. And something tells me that it's not something that people just pick up all that much. But um, they're they're always near me. Smokehead's always on the shelves, but I'm curious about the Sherry Bomb version. Like this literally says Smokehead Sherry Bomb. Oh, okay. So it's not that expensive, actually. Just work, enjoying the live stream. Thanks, Sarah, uh, Tyler. I'm getting everybody's names wrong today. <laughs> I just keep calling everybody Eric. <laughs> There's like seven Eric's in the chat, so it's it's not my fault. I waited years to buy Smokehead and it ended up being awesome. Okay, that's good to hear, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I really like that. Um. Okay, so it's ten o'clock. So I ended up getting uh, four four super chats. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um. So Caleb King. Actually, I think it goes that I think it goes back that far for me because um, I've left it open the whole time. So actually, this, this works out really well. Give me give me ten seconds and I'll figure this out. All right. So, oh no, I'm wrong. All right. So Caleb King, Ron, and does it really not give me an ability to say? Hold on. Sorry, I'm figuring this out as I go. You guys can bear with me for just a minute. No, it's not going to do it. All right, so this is what I'm going to do instead. Um, I'm going to wait until this resolves. Next time, I promise I will have uh, my shit a little bit more together. I'm going to wait until all of this resolves, and it lets me know who super chatted. And when it does, I will pick the winner at random. I'll do just like I did last time. I'll do a YouTube um, story of me picking the winner, and I'll get in touch with that, con uh, that person. If somehow I don't know you, or... This is what we'll do. I'm Like I said, I'm figuring it out as we go. If you guys sent me a super chat tonight, and I'll corroborate this, send me an email, thewhiskeydick at gmail.com, and just let me know. And then I will use that along with the super chats. I'll pick somebody at random, and I'll send you a thing. Okay? I think that's the best I can do. It will 100% be fair, guaranteed. Just got to figure out how the hell to do that. So, anyway, um, this has been fun. I've had a good time. Next week, I'm going to be doing a, uh interview with at least one person from Balcones, maybe two, including the Master Distiller. 
And I am uh, going to be doing another thing with that guy, Nick Taylor, the week after that. He um, he was the one I did Old Pulteney with. And we're going to be doing an, uh, Anok, I think is how you say it. It's like A-N-C-O-K. Um, <laughs> hey, Tyler. Thank you. Um, so I've got some really good streams coming up in the next couple of weeks. And one thing I would actually love to hear is other whiskey tubers other whiskey tubers that you guys would like me to have on the stream because that's where i think this channel shines is i really love doing the collaboration things i know it might seem a little lame but i i love the idea of just having other channels on here and just introducing people to everybody else um having smaller channels on is always fun to me having bigger channels on is always fun to me too as long as people are willing to kind of drink a little bit and have a fun time um you've all seen my streams you know what to expect <laughs> so let me know who you guys would like me to have on a stream um send me an email join the discord let me know and i'll make it happen it'll be really fun so thank you guys all for joining me here on the whiskey dictionary uh check out the whiskey go check out the coffee it's in the description and for the love of god buy the coffee because you guys are just doing yourself a disservice if you're not don't worry about the price i guarantee you you're gonna freaking love it all right cheers have a great night